Hi, boys and girls. Mrs. O'Connor here. I have uh, my buddy with me here, Erin, and we're going to read a book today, one of our favorite books, and it's called... Not All Princesses Dress in Pink. Yes, it's a good one. Not All Princesses Dress in Pink. Can hold it up for us? Not All Princesses Dress in Pink. Some play in bright, bright red socks that stink. They must stink. <laughs> Blue team jerseys that don't quite fit. Accessorized with a baseball mitt and a sparkly crown. Some princesses, when they choose, never pick out fancy shoes. But soccer cleats for outdoor sports with shin guards and some baggy shorts and a sparkly crown. <laughs> some princesses roll around wrestling in the muddy ground. Then get right up and skip and dance in tattered stained muddy pants and a sparkly crown. Some princesses wear their <laughs> jewels while fixing things with power tools. Saw screwdrivers, hammers, and drills. They wear with pride each greasy spill and a sparkly crown. Some princesses break their nails, planting flowers into pails, driving dump trucks, moving dirt, dressed in an extra large hand-me-down shirt and a sparkly crown. Some princesses like to pedal, wearing lots of shiny metal, helmet on head and body armor so that nothing can harm her or her sparkly crown. In chain mail, they easily fight an evil sorcerer or a knight. Or escape a stony tower, displaying all their princess power in a sparkly crown. Then, after a great victory lap, followed by a well-deserved nap, to the ball these princesses run, wearing no pink gowns, not even one. They waltz in red and foxtrot in blue. They reel in plaid and polka dot too. And in those grand and fancy halls, one even hip hops in overalls. And a very sparkly crown. I hope you enjoyed that book. Um, keep up the great work, you're doing a great job. And I can't wait to see you back in school again. Bye. Bye.